This kitten was about five months old when she was brought to the volunteers. She was found on the street by a concerned schoolgirl. The kitten was very weak and couldn't even fight off the crows that were pecking at her. Puss was oozing from her nose as she lay there, enduring the bird's attacks. She didn't even have the strength to run away, breathing heavily, squealing softly, and calling for help. The girl gave the kitten to the volunteers. She asked them to take care of her for a few days so she wouldn't die on the street. The volunteers named the kitten Nicker and took her to the vet. Nicker had a neglected case of rhinotrachitis, along with injuries from the bird attacks. Rhinotrachitis is a common disease in cats that causes snot and pus to come out of the nose and the eyes to become inflamed. Probably because of the disease, Nicker wasn't able to hunt normally she was very weak, which attracted the attention of crows. After a course of antibiotics prescribed by the vet, Nicker's condition improved significantly. As soon as Nicker's nose began to get some oxygen, she was able to eat, and her mood improved immediately. She began walking, interacting with people, and allowing them to pet her. Nicker is still weak and staggers when she walks, but the vets are confident that this will improve as she rests and gains weight. All she needs now is good food, care and continued treatment for the virus that causes her constant runny nose. Unfortunately, the arranged time came to an end, but the schoolgirl did not take Nicker with her, saying she couldn't convince her parents. Volunteers have already started looking for a caring owner for Nicker. Nicker is an example of what happens to homeless animals on the streets. Most die at a young age. Even a seemingly minor illness, such as a runny nose, can lead to an animal's death. It's a good thing there are still people willing to help animals in need. If you enjoyed the story, please support my little channel with a like and subscribe. See you soon in the next videos about our favorite animals.